latest on August 5th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The Western Pacific is the main place right now in the tropics with two tropical storms active, Francisco and Lekima. The Eastern Pacific struggles on with two depressions and tropical storm Flossie. Elsewhere, it's quiet in terms of name storms, but a few other areas of interest could develop. Day 66 of Atlantic hurricane season and 96L is now off the radar, no systems expected to form. On day 83 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, Flossie is barely a tropical storm and that's the strongest out of those three pictured. In the Western Pacific, Francisco is near Japan, La Quima in the Philippine Sea and 95W further out. And no systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere today. So the top story is Tropical Storm Francisco with winds we're estimating of 65 miles per hour and a pressure of 988 millibars. Um, it could still make a run for typhoon status over the next few days. It's 208 miles from Kushimoto, Japan in Wakayama Prefecture, 30.5 degrees north, 136.5 degrees east. Over the next 24 hours, the storm is likely to draw near or make landfall in Kyushu. It will eventually by Tuesday at the latest, then into South Korea, and then curving round, we expect, towards the northeast. Some models take it into the far eastern part of Russia. Other models take it towards Hokkaido, which it will strike as a tropical depression if it gets there. Tropical storm Flossie has winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,006 millibars. It's now drawing nearer to Hawaii, 368 miles. That means it's moved nearly 300 miles in the last day. 18.9 north, 149.2 west. Flossie is expected to continue towards Hawaii but weaken to a depression very soon, in the next 12 hours even, and then move over the Hawaiian Islands as a depression quite possibly still, um, and could still deliver significant amounts of rainfall to the Big Island. Other islands probably not so much, Flossie is already looking very weak. Tropical Storm Lekima is one that has a significant future still, 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 993 millibars we're giving it right now. And this one is something that a lot of people are watching, 463 miles from Daiotojima, Japan, 19.1 north, 130.5 degrees east. Over the next few days, the track forecast is hopelessly uncertain. Um, at least we're honest here, the models haven't got a clue whether this is going to strike Taiwan or indeed move towards the southern part uh, of Japan, indeed Kyushu even, or towards China via the East China Sea. What we do expect is that it will become a typhoon later on and could become a significant one. Wind shear over Francisco. Francisco is actually a fairly small system. It's barely the size of Kyushu, uh, but it will speed up towards the island in the next 24 hours. Again, we're talking about probably, um, where are we now, Tuesday morning by the time it reaches Kyushu as a landfall, uh, but it could develop an eye and become a typhoon in the meantime. Wind shear is low. The North Atlantic looks like this, 96L uh, was looking alright and it's uh, pretty much off the grid now. Uh, the National Hurricane Center have completely washed their hands off the system. Elsewhere, very broad disturbances uh, down there in the main development region that don't look like they're going to develop. The Gulf of Mexico fairly quiet, usual thunderstorms developing. The Eastern Pacific looks like this, it's a sorry state of affairs. Uh, the parade of storms are very frail indeed. Flossie the stronger of the lot with that tiny bit of convection that's now dying off. Eric's convection has also died off and Gill still pictured on the right hand side looking terrible. So the Eastern Pacific not um, not flattering many people today. Francisco uh, heading towards Japan there you can see quite clearly 95W near the Mariana Islands just to the east and Lakima, which has convection displaced to the western side of that storm as well. It's going to be a broad one though, uh, as will 95W if that one does develop. Models are hinting that both of them will be a tag team of big typhoons, potentially. Worst case. In the Southern Hemisphere, Australia and the South Pacific looking quiet. The Indian Ocean uh, looking like this. Uh, India, it's looking fairly quiet. General monsoonal patterns nothing of a tropical nature, although I haven't, having said that, uh, the remnants of Whiffa have moved in some of its remnant energy, but it's 
completely dissipated really. Sea surface temperatures look like this in the eastern Pacific, underneath Flossie, temperatures barely sustainable, 26 degrees at a push. Off the coast of Mexico, pleasantly warm, 30 degrees plus, pleasantly warm for a storm that is. The Atlantic, warm around the Caribbean area, the usual places, Greater Antilles, Cuba, the Bahamas. Um, and looking at the Indian Ocean, temperatures looking fair. And in the Western Pacific, the main area of interest right now, temperatures 20, 28 degrees plus, all the way up to the coast of southern Japan. Um, and where Lakima and 95W is, maybe even 30 degrees. Where Francisco is, it's, it could be entering a warm pool now um, in the next few hours. So that is something that we need to be watching very closely. Uh, the JMA have it at 55 knots, 10 minutes sustained. Um, so it is very close to typhoon status and could become one in the next 24 hours even though the JTWC aren't predicting it right now. That might change very soon. Tropical Storm Lekima looks like this on the imagery. I have seen some early visibles even though they aren't on this screen. Um, and the area of the uh, convection, sorry, the circulation is displaced uh, partially exposed at least on the eastern side of all that big blow up of convection. Tropical Storm Flossie has, come, has become completely exposed in those latest frames. Uh, its influence will start to reach the Big Island later today and it will end up reaching a potential landfall, most likely, tomorrow. So Flossie is on its way. In the Atlantic, the next name on the list is Chantal. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Henriette. In the Central Pacific, we're looking out for Akoni. 42 storms have formed so far in 2019 on day 217. In the Western Pacific, the next name is Krosa, and in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on the list, this date, is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages as well, search Force 13 all in text. That's all for now. We'll be back with another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.